Orcus lets you easily build data pipelines by tapping into what you already know. If you're familiar with coding in Python or R, you'll feel right at home. Imagine you're a data scientist and you're trying to build a data pipeline, but you already have a couple of notebooks or scripts. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create a pipeline in Orcus from scratch. We'll add a new step called load data and assign the get data Python script to it. That's really all there's to it to create a pipeline. It just contains a single step, but it already works. To get a sense of what's going on, we'll open the Python script in the integrated JupyterLab editor to get a sense of what it's doing. It imports a couple of modules, it fetches the data, and makes it available through a function call to output for the next step. Let's add the next step called pre-processing. We'll assign it a notebook and connect it to the previous step to make sure that the data is available when we execute the notebook. We can go into the notebook and execute these cells interactively. And as you'll see, it's aware of the pipeline and it can get the inputs that it needs to output the scaled values. We can go back to the pipeline and add arguably the most interesting step, which is training a linear regression. It's one of the modeling ideas, but we want to compare it to a different idea later. We'll connect it to pre-processing, and that's really all we need to have a pipeline that loads the data, pre-processes it, and then trains a model. To compare, we create a second step called decision tree and assign it the decision tree notebook, but we connect it to the same pre-processing step such that it gets the exact same information. Now, we can already execute these two steps without executing the first because we've already executed the previous steps. So in this session, the state will be available without having to rerun the full pipeline. It's interesting to compare these two models, so we'll add a final step that aggregates the results. We'll call it collect results, assign the notebook, and connect it to these two steps. In this case, we only have to run the final step to see how well the models did. We look at the logs and see that the root mean squared error for the decision tree was lowest. Now, if you're working with pipelines, you probably want to put them in a job to run them in some sort of schedule. In Orcus, that's made super simple through the simple concept of jobs. We open jobs, create a new one called train housing, and assign it to a schedule, for example, to run on a weekly basis. That's really all there's to it. It's now scheduled to execute, and all the executions will be available and immutable for everybody to be able to inspect the results in the future. I didn't go into every feature of Orcist. We didn't cover environments, parameterizations, or code versioning, but I hope this gave you a good first impression of what you can do in Orcist. Thank you for watching.